Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing this makeup that I'm wearing right now. And this is the classic red lip makeup. As we all know, the classic red lip is one makeup which will never go out of style. And it's perfect when you want to make a powerful statement. The key is to choosing a toner red which suits your coloring. And then keeping the rest of your makeup subtle to really let your lips pop. So if you wanted to see how I did this look, just keep on watching. So prior to filming this video, I've already moisturized my face. So the first I'm going to be using is the Joe Cosmetics Creamy Concealer. I know for some of you, um, for some people, they do foundation first and then they do concealer. But for me, I'm going to be doing in the reverse one. So I'm going to be using the concealer first and then I'm going to be applying a little a sheer foundation, so, which I'll be showing to you guys in a second. So for now, I'm just going to be um, concealing some of the darker areas, the dark areas of my face that needs to be concealed to so the under eye area and I'm gonna be using my fingers because fingers are the best tool that you can have just to make sure you have a clean hand I am just gonna be concealing around the nose where the red areas and then all the red spots that I have because pretty much I have a red nest on my face I'm just gonna be concealing those so as you can see in the camera I think it's more like I'm concealing all the redness that I have on my face then I'm gonna be applying my foundation I have a lot of redness and broken capillaries on my face so the next thing I'm gonna be using is the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer so I just purchased this yesterday by the way it's brand new I've never used this one so we'll see how it goes I've heard good reviews about this tinted moisturizer so now it's basically my first time and you know like pretty much doing my honest review about this tinted moisturizer I'm just gonna be using my fingers by the way it's a little it's very sheer if you just want to have a light foundation I must say this is like a very sheer tinted moisturizer it has the SPF 30 by the way so I'm pretty much a person who always use hands in blending. So I know using brushes, it's a must, but for me, I just, you know, it's just for my personal preference that I usually use my fingers in blending my makeup. I love using brushes too. So for hygienic purposes as well, of course, you have to have a clean hands and especially the tools that you're going to be using. It has to be clean. So this is the 3N1 Sand, by the way. This shade is the 3N1 Sand. To be honest with you guys, I don't pretty much use foundation. I don't have a perfect skin, but it's just my preference because pretty much what I do is to do most of the skincare. That's where I focus the most. So what I usually do is to have that skincare routine that I usually do every day, morning and night. And then during the day, what I usually do is just to have that my daily skincare routine. And then I just use concealer to cover up some of the redness on my face and then just use a powder. That's all. To be honest guys but for special occasions and and other any other things of course you know if the uh, foundation is a must i would wear it like this video that i'm showing you guys so okay so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to set my foundation so i'm going to be using the laura mercier this is the laura mercier um translucent honey and honey powder so the next thing i'm going to do is the eyes I don't want to go heavy on the eyes, so I'm pretty much going to be using a light eyeshadow. This is, by the way, the MAC Cosmetics in Kids, so this is how it looks like. KID Kid. It's a lighter brown shade. So what I'm going to be doing is just to do all over the lid. Like more like a brown, not so dark brown. It's more like a beige skin color. So the next one is I'm going to be using is the, uh, the cork. It's more like a darker brown shade. So I'm only going to be putting this on the crease area. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's a very light brown. It's a little darker from the uh, shade that I used earlier. So that's Cork from MAC Cosmetics. So the next I'm going to be using is the Shroom. This is from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to be applying this on the ball of my eyelids. I'm 
I'm gonna apply this to on my inner corner of my eye. So there, I'm just I applied something to in the inner corner of my eye. So I wanted to give more a little bit of definition, by the way. So I applied this espresso. So I applied this espresso because I wanted to define more of the crease on the outer corner. So I just put on a little bit on the outer corner of the eye. So this is more like just to kind of give you that definition. So for my eyeliner, I am actually going to be using a lash glue eyeliner and this is from KISS and this is can save you a lot of time by putting on the, uh, if you want to do a wing eyeliner, if you want to do your eyeliner and put on the lashes on the same time. The only thing that you have to do, the only cons that I don't pretty much like about this one, it kind of gets dry quickly. So what you can do is to basically once you apply the lash glue eyeliner, you have to apply the lashes afterwards so you know because if it, it gets dry then you're gonna have to apply it again and i'm gonna have to get ready with my eyelashes okay so now we're gonna be applying the lash glue eyeliner and this is from kiss so what i'm gonna be doing is just to Okay, now I've already done that, I am now going to be applying the eyelashes because you know what, it's going to get dry quickly so I have to really be quick in applying this one. So there you guys have it, so it's so quick. You have to be really quick in applying your lashes after applying the lash glue eyeliner because you know it's going to get dry really quickly. So that's the only thing that I don't like about this one is you have to be really quick after applying the uh, eyeliner, the lash glue eyeliner. I have to really shake it. So I am going to be applying the next one now. Okay, so there you have it guys, those are the eyes. And by the way, before I proceed, I'm gonna have to apply a, a little darker shade. It's not really dark, but I'm just gonna have to apply the, I'm just gonna go back to um, espresso color just to give that kind of definition. So the next one I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be contouring my face. I'm gonna be using this bronzer. This is from MAC Cosmetics and it's matte bronze powder. So I'm just gonna go and bronze it. I don't wanna go overboard by the way, like I said. So I'm gonna go like the three. Just gonna go bronze it. I have a blemish over here. Take that off. Couldn't see that. I did not see that. There you go. So pretty much it's all done. But I am not really satisfied. You can skip this by the way. Okay, so now I'm gonna be applying a little bit of a shimmer only on the cheekbones, the upper cheekbones. So I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Beach Glow Palette, and I'm using on this side right here. So yeah, just to give you that a little shimmer, just to kind of give a little shimmer on the face. And I'm not going to go overboard with that as well because I wanted to focus more on the color of the lip. So I'm just, just a little bit of glow on the face by the way, just a little shimmer. So, so the last thing of course is the red lips and I will be using the 3CE and this is called Eminence. So I hope I pronounced that correctly. This is a lip tint actually. It's a matte lip shade. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying the red lip tint.
moisturizing matte lipstick by the way it's not drying this eminence this is one of my favorite from 3ce and i believe this is like 15 dollars and i will be by the way i'll be putting all the products that i've used on the description box below by the way i forgot i'm gonna have to go and just to grab a little bit of mascara and just to uh, apply it on my lower lashes gonna give you that definition only in the eye I'm not gonna go you can skip this by the way if you want to but so there you have it guys I hope you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit that bell button below so you'll be able to get notified for my future videos until next time guys, thanks for watching. Bye!